What's happening, God, my fam? Yo, check it out. This your boy, Don't Panic, man. Y'all already know who it is. Um, so what I'm gonna do today, man, is something. I think I'm talking about. I'm not doing nothing new, okay? I'm just reiterating um, something that's already been done. But I've been looking at the videos and looking at the detail of the videos and how they're explaining it. So today what I'm going to be doing is showing you, I guess in a roundabout way, how to kickstart uh, your dirt bike. The easiest way that i found. Everybody got different ways. I just seen them do the double kicks, the double pumps, and all that. My issue is, I, or not my issue, but my thing is I don't feel like to a new person that's never ever rode a dirt bike, I don't think that some of them really understand what you're I doing. To understand what you're doing, you got to actually understand the mechanics of what you're doing on the kickstart. So basically on a kickstart, unlike a push start, on a push start, you, you're, you have your starter gear on a motor, which creates rapid re revolutions, okay? Um, the whole basics of it is, is you got to get it at top dead center. See, the thing with a starter and a push button start is it still has to find top dead center, but it has rapid revolutions to find that top dead center. All right. So on a kickstart, you only have that one revolution. So if you don't get it on top dead center, it's not going to crank for a long time. Um, so what you have to do is you got to find that top dead center on your first kick. Cause initially what you're doing is the piston goes up, the spark plug, boom, shoots the piston back down. Well, when the bike's not running, it doesn't have that initial explosion to kick the piston down. So at top dead center from right, that piston is sitting basically straight up and down. It's topped out its revolution. And what it needs is that force to kick it back down and start completing that revolution. And like I said, like with a, with a push button start, you have electricity emitting that constant revolution to find that top dead center. On a kick start, you only have one revolution to start that the initiation, to crank the bike in other words. So what I'm about to show you here in a minute is how to find top dead center. Now I got an 07 YZ uh, 250F and this, this, I mean I feel like it should apply to most dirt bikes. Um, two strokes, I think a little different. I think they're a little easier to crank up, but this is a four stroke. Shut your mouth, two stroke. Shut your mouth. Don't say nothing crazy. Anyway, this is a four stroke. All right. So this should apply to most four strokes. I think, I feel, I hope. Um, so before I actually show you, let me explain to you what's going on. Now me personally, and it's just me, it's just me. I know people say, well, I've been doing it for years like that. That's fine. That's great. Keep doing it. That's you. But me personally, um, I don't like when I see people just ramping on the on the kickstart because you don't have to do that. Um, the double kicking and you know all that you don't have to do that because essentially you have a gear in here and when you slap when you slam down on that kickstart and you're just jerk jamming it and jamming it. You essentially you're hitting two pieces of metal together, and eventually no matter how hard that metal is, it's going to eventually get thinner and thinner. You're going to make that gap wider and wider, and actually that tooth is going to get thinner and thinner, and eventually it's going to break. So to, to prevent breaking or wearing your gears down, I don't suggest just slamming on the gear. With the method that I'm going to show you, it should work 99.9% .9 of the time. And you don't have to horse down on it. Okay? So here we go. Let me show you what I got going on. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to, try to explain this to you. Let me put you on my handy dandy bucket here. All right. So basically... And I'm gonna I'm gonna physically show you, but I wanna I wanna show you like this first. All right, this is your kickstand. I'm at like you don't know nothing about kickstart on a dirt bike. This is your kickstart. Okay. Essentially, you want to find top dead center. Okay. When you push your gear down, see right. I found it already. That's top dead center right now. When you push this gear down, you're gonna find a hard spot. Like you can't miss it. Like I'm putting pressure on that. When you find that hard spot, that's your top dead center. Okay? Once you get to top dead center, you want to go, let's just say it was on the clock. This is 12. You want to put it down to 11. So you want to just put pressure on this. 
And you're going to feel it click and it's going to bump. Here it comes. Boom. So, and that's what you want it. After you find that, you let it ratchet back up and then you kick it. 99% of the time, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start. And now you see, I didn't have to kick that. I did all that with my hand. And my bike has great compression. I done all that with my hand, okay? So that lets you know that you don't have to be kicking and romping and just trying to put your foot to the floor to crank these bikes up. If your bike is tuned correctly and you've got everything adjusted, you shouldn't have to kick it like that. So now let me, let me show you. Let me physically show you what I'm talking about. All right? So this... This is my method, okay? And this is exactly what I do every time I get on the bike. I don't even touch the, the, the choke. Not even touching the choke. The bike's cold. Turning my gas on, okay? The bike's cold. I haven't crunk it. See that? It's all the way cold. It hasn't been crunk. All right, I, matter of fact, I just got done replacing my, my boot right here. So my bike's completely cold. All right, so I turned the gas on. This is with no choke. <laughs> now let's see if it do this as I'm trying to do it on camera. So basically what I do is I'm going to find my top dead center. And you don't find it in the same spot every time. Well, fortunately, it's already there. It's a hard. Let me go through, though. I'm going to cut kick through. So I'm going to ratchet down until I feel that hard spot. There it is. I'm going to go one down. Right there. Let it back up. Give it a blip. One, two, three. Three, and... And there you go. That's all you got to do. Again, that's no choke, nothing. You find the top dead center. There it is right there. Now, see, this time, I found it right here. Okay, it clicked down for me. But this time, I found it right here. Last time, it was up here. There it is. Bring it up. One, two, three. There you go. So, that goes to show you that you, you don't have to kick and crank down on these bikes. If you tune them right, you get them set up right, then it's, it's nothing. One more time. Here we go. I'm going to kick it here. Boom. Let it bump. Bring it up. Kick it down. Got to blip it. Here. Bring it up. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. So, that's how you kick start the bike, man. Like, you don't have to romp on it. You don't have to freaking, you know, do all that crazy country stuff, man. Like, I'm country, but you ain't got to do all that caveman stuff, man. Tune your bike. Take time. Take the time to tune your bike right, man. Treat it like your woman. Well, if you treat your woman right. I treat my woman right. So treat it like your woman. Take your time with it. Tune it up. I know you want to ride, 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 but break it down every now and then. Tune it up, man. Check your valve clearance. You know, check your, your timing chain. You know, check for air leaks. Just check stuff on it, man. And that way... You don't sit here and be cussing when you're out in the middle of the woods and you're trying to crank your bike up or your boys just came over wanting to ride real quick and you can't get your bike to start. One reason why you can't get your bike to start is because you you ain't, something's wrong with it. Something's wrong. All right? If it ain't kick starting, something's wrong, bro. So stop trying to crank it, find out what the problem is, and fix it. That's it, bro. All right? This your boy, don't panic. Remember, God loves everybody. Jesus is love. And I love you, deuces.